So here's a video for you parents out there building towards your million dollar dreams. I know what you're feeling, the guilt, the anxiety, the pit in your stomach. You're questioning, even doubting your decision to get on this path of becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire. With all the hours that you're putting in, that you must put in, you're asking yourself, is it worth it? The long nights, not necessarily being home at five o'clock for dinner, dealing with rejection, setbacks, frustration, not dealing with the immediate payoff right away that seems to be eluding itself right around the corner. Well, in this episode of the Seven Figure Squad, maybe this is a gentle and kind reminder for you to center you back on what matters most and why you're doing what you're doing. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jada. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Was fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven. Like. What's cracking, everybody? Money smart guy Matt Sapali here, hailing to you from Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois. And yes, this Maui Hawaiian tan, so to speak, is now starting to wear off. But perhaps this is a video to help many of you parents out there gain some reassurance. Because I've been there, done that, and sometimes also, at one point in my career, being a single father for 14 years, and now being a married father with a blended family having that pit in your stomach and actually feeling the anxiety of not necessarily being there for everything involving my kids. I've had three kids in my 20s. I was a single father at one point. Long before the glitz, the glam, the travel, the house, the Rolls Royce, and everything that comes with it. Now, I want to show you this clip of my 10-year-old son, Jojo, as we're having breakfast in Maui. And hopefully for some of you, this might just jack you up and charge you up. I hope for some of you fighting towards your dreams, this may potentially change your perspective. Now, this is better than any motivational or, or inspirational video that we can produce here. So without further ado, here's our 10-year-old son, Jojo, over eggs and bacon and breakfast, sharing with him his perspective on the power of his parents fighting for financial freedom and fighting for what they believe in. Let's check this out. Jojo, when people say you're rich, what do you say? What, what happened? Tell us the story. Say that when they said it's not fair, what was your response? Okay, it's not fair. First, it started poor, nothing. Worked up, got a small little house. And then worked up more, got a medium house, education nice. And kept working harder and harder in the past year. Now, we have a giant house. $6 million and a new number. So would you rather be poor or rich? Rich. Why? <laughs> because why? You get to go on more vacations and bonding time. Because look, if you're poor, you work very hard. You don't have time. If you're rich, you've got a lot of time. That's my and here's perspective. That was incredible. He said, if you're poor, you work really hard, you don't have time. But when you're rich, you have more time. But, but we work all the time with JoJo. I know. But we're trying to make a better life for me and Jordan than we grow up. Okay. And then, we're trying to make a better life for me and Jordan than we grow up. You and mom, even though you keep working, it's because you don't work hard. Once you have tons of money, tired, and live a peaceful rest of the life. That's why you keep working. And also, the money also travels down the family. So it helps the family build and build and build. So even though we're gone all the time and we work hard long hours, are you mad at us for doing that? No. I'm grateful. Jordan, follow your brother's lead, okay? Awesome. Follow your brother's lead, okay? <laughs> now, did you see my wife's face, Sheena? Did you see the look on her face? She, too, is at one point a single mom. Now, I want you to take a second and imagine your kid, your kids, your children. You're eating breakfast in Hawaii. The water is behind you. And they're saying, you know, mommy, poppy, mom, dad. I know in spite of the times that I don't see you all the time at nights, I don't see you all the time on weekends, I'm so 
thankful and grateful you are able to send to this school to create options for me, the activities. I'm a part of the associations that I'm now surrounded with compared to where I was in my previous school. Could you imagine that? And I realized the trips, the sacrifice that you and mom and dad have been making. I acknowledge that and I recognize it because now I'm seeing it, I'm witnessing, and I'm experiencing the payoff. So let me ask you a question. You know, right in front of me right now are sports trading cards, which I'll be showing in a future episode. And I'm looking at these players right now. I'm looking at Walter Payton. I'm looking at LeBron James. I'm looking at Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, Dwayne Wade. And the thing I'm thinking about and processing right now is do I want my kids to be looking up to these athletes or do I want my kids to be looking up at me, my wife, our family, setting the example? You see, I realize in my life that there's nobody in my family that's ever became a first generation cash flow millionaire. And it's up to me. It's incumbent upon me to take the last name that's on the back of my jersey and to make something of it. That my inheritance is long outside of just money. It's the legacy, the work ethic. You know, sometimes I've, I've, I've asked myself, do I want my kids to be working hard as I have been? You see, working hard and toughing it out has made me the man and my wife the woman she is today. The last thing I want to do is to rob my children of not only the example of the conditions that potentially might make them great. I want to see them, see mom and dad work hard in the grind. I don't want my kids to have that quote unquote easy life. Now, I want them to have options, but I want them to see what mom and dad did to create well, to create financial independence, to chase after their dreams and have victory in their lives because that high outside of anything external that you might put into your body that they might see their friends do going to school, going to college that the high that's long lasting and natural, organic, it doesn't have a downer, is winning. Now, when I see this in my kid's face, when I see this, and by the way, I've got three older kids. I have a 25 year old and twin girls that are 19 years old that they see mom and dad bust their tail. We're setting an example that if you set a goal and you want to accomplish something in your life, you have the direct example of mom and dad setting it in the household. And if you want money for your business, you want money for a project, you want money for an idea, guess what? Mom and dad's got not only got the pockets, but they got the example necessary for you to obtain those goals and dreams and financially help them get ahead. But they got to know, they got to see, they got to witness, they got to experience what mom and dad did to earn it. You see, this is what the seven figure squad is all about. This is what I mean when I say you must become a first generation cash flow millionaire. And by the way, being a millionaire is not like what it used to be in the 70s and 80s. I mean, right now to, to experience the things that you want to experience and to tell yourself, I want to be financially free, I want to be able to slide my credit card without worrying about money. My friends, you gotta be looking at seven figures. You know, there's, the facts are one out of 10 people making six figures are living paycheck to paycheck. Making 250, I mean, my wife said I started feeding some form of food freedom at 250, not at financial freedom. So if you're out there, you're a single parent or you're a blended family, or you're having kids and you're experiencing financial you know, chaos in your life based on the pandemic, I wanna encourage you and uplift you. Listen, if you need to put yourself on a different path to chase after financial freedom, the last thing I want you to feel is guilt. It's much, much more than what money can buy. It's all about moments like this and to me, that's what it's all about. So before I wrap up, if you wanna see other insights of what this journey is all about through the eyes of my son. Please watch this video, the real reason behind what makes us do what we do. If you want to also have a breakdown process of overcoming that guilt, here's a formula in this video for you to watch too as well because the last thing I'd want you to feel is guilt, to have resentment of the things that you wish you could have done. So please check out this video. Now, if you're watching this, please drop your thoughts, your comments, your questions, your follow-ups in the comments section below. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted next time we upload our next episode. That being said, guys, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.